All right, say it with me now. Bean, a, scumbag, four, clout, is, a, sad, and lonely, existence. I'm sorry about all the tweet format clapping in between words. Uh, I just really wanted to get my point across. It's, I just... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new 1,200-watt microwave full of Cornish hens. My name is Leon Lush, and I do appreciate you stopping in for a bit today. So I was tooting along yesterday, browsing the web, minding my business, like we do, right? And I caught a headline, probably on Twitter or something, I don't remember exactly, but it was along the lines of, uh, most hated woman in the UK asks public to fund her butt lift. Now, my knee-jerk reaction was like, eh. You know, crowdsourcing your own butt lift in 2019, kind of a scumbag move, but not all that surprising. What really hooked me was this fact that she was the most hated woman in Britain. And I was like, what gave her that prestigious title? I must look into this further. So Carla Bellucci is a 37-year-old mother of three, ex-model turned Instagram influencer. Now that could probably be more appropriately translated as a 37-year-old mother of three failed model that somehow managed to get a handful of followers on Instagram simply because everybody hates her guts. She's a self-proclaimed global controversial media sensation. sensation. Uh, and as you scroll through Instagram, it's the typical shtick for this kind of thing. You know, bunch of pictures of TNA, a lot of pictures of her making very funny sultry faces, you know what I'm saying? And just kind of that whole vibe of like, God, I really hope that someday I can get enough plastic surgery to somehow make a living taking pictures of my ass. Now at 37, I have to imagine she's feeling that ominous pressure of her biological clock just hovering over her, waiting to sweep away her dream career. And believe me, I get it. I'm 34 and I have to catch my breath in between putting on each one of my socks. It's a difficult existence. I mean, thank God I don't rely on this beautiful peach for my paychecks. I mean, God, it doesn't hurt. For Christ's sake, look at that thing. It's like carved out of granite. But at any given moment at this age, I could wake up and it could be touching my calves. I have to think of alternatives here. And for Carla, that alternative is plastic surgery. And what do you do when you can't afford plastic surgery to freeze the hands of time and extend your window for your dream career? Well, you just fake that you have depression and a deviated septum in order to get the procedure done for free by the NHS, which is an institution in the United Kingdom that is typically reserved for providing free health care to people who actually need the assistance. It's very different when you freely admit, happily admit, that you've milked the NHS and you have lied. You've been a parasite on the NHS. Um, obviously, like press and media, they, they, they have, like, what I've said is true. I'm going to stand by what I've said. I did um, end the truth to get a nose job. No, you lied. On the NHS. I lied. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the backlash. I lied. As if faking mental illness so you can steal government money away from people who actually need it to do a cosmetic procedure on yourself that you don't really need isn't bad enough. You then go on to a show called This Morning in the United Kingdom, which is a very popular morning show, and inexplicably brag about it to hundreds of thousands of people. So you flirted with the GP fun. and what? And he said, that, well, you know, this is what you should say when you go and see the surgeon. Basically, um, yeah. And before I knew it, I had an appointment within literally four weeks to go and see a surgeon. And you know what, I take that back. It is explicable because Carla Bellucci is the type that knows exactly how many people that would piss off. And oh, it doesn't matter though, because when you piss people off, you get all that attention. Everyone starts talking about you. And endorphins don't know the difference between vitriol and admiration. So even if the whole world hates me, at least they're still talking about me. Mmm, that feels good. I'm getting attention. People are noticing me. Maybe finally they'll look at my Instagram feed and, and realize I'm the model I was always supposed to be. Everyone love me, please. The attention feels good. <sighs> I'm dead inside. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying attention is bad. I enjoy it as much as the next guy. It's a natural human response to enjoy people noticing you, right? And when the channel's doing well or I have a video pop in to recommend it, it makes me more rigid than a birch tree in my pantalones. I'll admit it. But when your only tactic for gaining attention is by purposely being a despicable piece of shit, well, then you're just kind of like an empty shell of a human being at that point, I think. Oh, Leon, don't you think you're being a little harsh? Why don't you tone it down a little? About the free nose job thing? Okay, maybe, but why don't we read this quote from an article from the Lad Bible and we'll reassess. Recently, the former Glamour model also said she'd encourage her 14-year-old daughter to have plastic surgery as well. She told Closer Magazine that her daughter, Tanisha, isn't the most academic of girls, unquote, and reckons that she should have some surgery because, quote, ugly people get nowhere these days. Carla continued, quote, she will need to rely on her looks to get on in life, so she will need to be perfect. At the moment, she loves the Kardashian look with the big bum and boobs and pouty lips. She's going to get fillers when she is 
16, which I fully support. If she wants to be a successful influencer and reality star, then she will have to fit the look of the time. So surgery is the obvious option. She's good looking, but surgery will make her prettier." End quote. She is the poster child of everything I believe to be backwards and wrong and dangerous about social media. I mean, we're talking about her 14-year-old daughter has to see her mother talking about her like this in interviews that are on record for thousands and hundreds of thousands of people to see. How is that going to how is that going to make her feel 14 years old, mind you, in her very in the midst of her formative years when she's trying to find self-confidence and a sense of worth, figuring out what she's doing with her life. Her mother is talking in interviews about how she's stupid, not pretty enough, and will never get by if she's not beautiful and perfect and will have to get a bunch of surgeries if she wants to Chance in this world. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And as I, I'm getting worked up, I hate when I get worked up. Sometimes things hit home for me a little bit personally as a newer father myself, as a newer parent, just to witness the absolute malfeasance and how she is raising her daughter is 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 mind bending. And it just gets it gets me fucking. Ugh. Wow. I mean, it's uh, it's a big thing to go public on something like this. Um, and you are going to get battered on social media. And he was not wrong about that. I mean, not surprisingly, Carla has been getting tuned up pretty hard online the last couple months since that aired. Uh, she's privated her comments on Instagram. Still posting all these stories, screenshots of, you know, these news outlets that are talking about her, just pumped and yeah. just just loves the attention. And this is my favorite at the end of her stories. Her most recent one, just three hours ago, she's got this going. Nothing says you're hanging on by a thread quite like having to go out of your way to use a hashtag to convince people you're really loving life, though. And I never condone aggressive internet behavior, right? Like bullying people, going after them because they did something you don't like. I think that's nonsense. I'm obviously making a video. I'm criticizing her choices. I think the way she's handling her role as a parent to a young girl is despicable. Uh, but the worst part of all this is, you know what? Like, she's gotten some backlash. She knows what she got into. But the worst part is her daughter has become the target now. There's even an article written about how her daughter was targeted by a gang of internet bullies and she got beat up at school, et cetera, et cetera. And you know what I'm saying? I can't say that she wouldn't get bullied regardless of her situation and who her mother is. I know that bullying with young kids is a problem these days, but there is almost pretty much a direct line between how Carla Bellucci handles herself online and her daughter becoming a target for what she's now enduring. So what's the next logical step when you're trying to cope with the guilt of your daughter being targeted by online bullies, most likely because of your own reprehensible actions and the fact that you handle yourself like a trash can on the internet? Well, you start an anti-bullying campaign, of course. Hi guys, so I thought I'd take these five minutes to step in front of the camera and answer some questions. I've had so many um, messages, emails, DMs, asking about the Speak Out campaign and are me and Tanisha, my daughter, still going ahead with it? And the answer is yes. I've experienced trolling first-handly um, and it just never fazes me how evil people can be. So I am here with Tanisha um, to give out advice and support. She's even got a website going with this very heartfelt uh, message from her daughter. I, I guess the, the music in the background are really supposed to grip you, I imagine. Today I was jumped from my five cyber bullies. Okay, like, I don't know. I'm a little conflicted on this one. Like, ultimately, big picture, I just, I feel really bad for this young girl. Um, and I'm not, I, I do understand that, like, like, you know, bullying, targeted harassment uh, in this day and age is, is a problem. It can be a very big problem for adults, but more so, I think, for young kids in their formative years that don't, aren't as equipped to deal with with stuff like that and uh, people can be nasty especially in this online world where everyone can hide behind a keyboard and just be terrible to other people with really no consequence um, so I'm not anti the message here I just don't think that Carla Bellucci is necessarily the right person to spearhead a campaign like this just me Maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Like on one hand, she's bragging in her IG stories about how many articles are being written about how big of a piece of dog she is. And on the other hand, she's like, hey guys, please, do, please don't, please don't bully us. Did, did you know that one in five, one in five adults and children get bullied every year? Don't be mean to me, please. I just wanted to be, I just wanted to be a model. I'm 37, I don't have much time left. 
Beats notice me. Hi guys, it's Carla Bellucci here. This is a message for Trump. I just want to say, when we have socialised medicines available, like we do here in the UK on the NHS, everything's up for grabs. So this is a message for you, Donald Trump. I would like you to help me in my crowdfunding page on getting my butt implants. And on that note, I just want to say, God bless America. That one from a day ago, I mean, just a thoroughbred troll here. I mean, this is, we're back to the current story now why she's in the headlines about trying to crowdfund her her Brazilian butt lift. And she made this plea to Donald Trump wearing the MAGA hat, like clearly just trying to to continue incite the, the, the outrage brigade for her own exposure. Just an absolute dumpster fire of a human being. So shockingly, despite her best efforts of gaining attention, uh, she's only raised 12 euro of the 6,000 euro goal to get her her butt job and butt implant and lift. And I mean, it's just tragic to see someone uh, with such dire medical needs that just can't get the funding she needs. Just a single tear flies down my face. In fact, someone someone actually donated two, two euro just so they could say, stop being a sponger and get a job. <laughs> so she gets the free nose job. Couple months later, she's back trying to get a free butt job from the NHS. They're like, no, we're not falling for this twice. And then she tries to put it on her supporters followers I can't I can't imagine she has supporters but if you ask me like she's just an absolute rookie going about it all the wrong way now given her history I know it's not her outstanding character that made her be honest about the fact that she needed the money for a butt lift it's just an egregious lack of creativity or talent she could have easily sold to something else that would have tugged on our heartstrings a little more like uh hey guys my dog Milo needs a $7,000 emergency spleen transplant because he had kidney stones and he almost died getting sympathy points from pet owners on the internet is easier than beating Ray Charles in a game of hide and seek. That shit would have been funded in 15 minutes. Then you just snap a picture with your neighbor's dog, post it on Instagram, caption it, hey guys, thank you so much for all the support. Milo's now happy and healthy, and no one's the wiser. Meanwhile, you're walking around with three pounds of thigh fat injected into your butt cheeks, looking great, feeling great. Total amateur move and a missed opportunity. I don't think Carla's gonna be able to get that free butt lift. And if you're watching this, Carla, listen, you need a little creative direction, feel free to reach out. I charge a very reasonable price. So she fakes mental illness to get the free nose job with government funded money huge amount of blowback understandably tragically her daughter gets caught in the fallout of this gets beat up targeted bullied and they start this like anti-bullying initiative and, uh, and who knows what's going on there and then less than six seven weeks later carla's back up to the same old tricks just causing all types of controversy crowdfunding this butt lift tweeting at donald trump about it wearing the maga hat knowing that'll stir the even more to get more eyeballs on her bragging about all the controversy on her ig stories reposting every single article that's being written about how big of a pos she is and that's cool man if that's your brand if your only talent is to stir the pot every couple months to try and squeeze a little bit of attention out of the public outrage you're causing that's on you and she can figure out how to deal with that i just feel terrible that her daughter's caught up in this and the things that she said about her in that article were sad and irresponsible. Like, I don't have a daughter, but goddamn, that made me wince to read that. Like, Carla, if you're watching this, maybe, maybe just, just think about possibly trying to build your daughter up, who she is. Be proud of her, what she's trying to do, what she's trying to accomplish, instead of tearing her down and telling her she's not good enough, not pretty enough, not smart enough. She may just surprise you with what she's capable of. Anyways, I am certainly not the arbiter of right and wrong. These are just my opinions, not yours, but I do love hearing from you. So whether you agree or not, why don't you leave a comment down below? Let me know what you think about this Carla Bellucci. I'm curious to see uh, to see what the reaction is here. I do appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you were able to get a quick laugh in between the more serious tone of this video. And if you could do me one last favor before you go, just smash your face into your nightstand three to four times as hard as you can so you really, really mess up your nose and then just get yourself a government funded nose job to fix it and then once you're done and recovered after eight weeks and the bruising's gone just pull down your pants and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me i appreciate you we'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>